When democracy is trampled on, it's imperative to look at what may serve as a building block for democratic change, a functional and legitimate constitution. But why a constitution? And what can a constitution and the process of building its framework do for a country? To find these answers and the tools to build a new constitution, 25 people from 23 countries have come to Barcelona to a training program developed by International IDEA, an organization that supports democracy worldwide. One of them is Sulef Kusum from Algeria. Most of my work is focused on supporting UNDP country offices in the Arab uh, state region in terms of develop, uh, parliamentary development. After the Arab Spring, most of those Arab countries are going through constitutional building process or uh, constitutional amendment or constitutional reforms. So this uh, training uh, for me is very timely and uh, will uh, provide me new tools uh, to support better UNDP country offices. The proper role of the international community is to build a bridge between resources and the people who, are, who, who need to make those choices, especially coming out of conflict. Um, because that's part of the constructive healing process. What else? Uh, let's say if a constitution is passed by at least two-third majority, then why do we need referendum? If you participate here in the IDEA Constitution Building Training Course, expect to be active and interactive. When you've had a negotiated process, introduce the elements of the old order into the new order. We are speaking about constitutions uh, helping a country to move uh, from one kind of order to a different kind of a system, one that is more democratic, that respects the rights of people. Winlock Wahyu and Christy Warren are course developers. Professor Christy Warren has been involved in a number of constitution building processes and can draw from her experience from many parts of the world. Well, I've been involved in international development work and constitutional reform in various areas around the world for the past 15 years. This course fills a gap that has been needed in the field by constitutional um, advisors for quite a while. It's the first course of its kind and it's designed to provide basic building blocks for national actors who are engaged in constitution building projects in their own countries. We have had successful training sessions uh, in a number of uh, places. We have had one in Nairobi, uh, in Jakarta. This time around, we are happy to be partnering with the BIPRC for the training in Barcelona. The BIPRC, uh, this is the Barcelona International Peace and Resource Center, uh, are a well-established organization within Barcelona that uh, has been conducting trainings for a number of years. At this latest course in Barcelona, the participants are lawmakers, human rights advocates, and democratic reform specialists from around the world. Well, it's all about negotiation and dialoguing and getting the people's participation in the process. You're talking about a clear purpose, you're talking about foresight. Trainer Elena Diaz Pinto from Guatemala knows from personal experience why constitutional building is important. Her country suffered 36 years of armed conflict. These courses are a starting point and, and, and our role as facilitators is to really uh, facilitate learning and interactions. And a very important tool for learning is uh, comparative experiences and it's a very powerful one. Mm -hmm. The training is organized around different themes. Constitutional building practices and mechanisms are really the cornerstone of any constitutional reform process. We have written modules that are combining these lessons because ultimately, people who are coming for our trainings, what they want to know is what are the good experiences, what are the bad experiences. 
Human rights are a building block for democracy. Uh, in any constitutional reform process, you cannot ignore uh, human rights. Uh, we find, of course, that human rights are very integral to the democratic culture that emerges, which is why the program that uh, we are rolling out has also developed a module uh, on the building of a human rights culture. Power sharing is very important uh, for countries that are deeply divided. We have a module that is talking about power sharing from the background of conflict, from the background of autocracy, saying what are the options to ensure that power is not amassed in one centre, but it is shared with different groups and with different regions and territories in a country. Here it's the participants themselves who are challenged to find their way forward, to build persuasive, convincing arguments in their work for change through the use of dynamic, interactive sessions. Louis Acqua is a constitutional lawyer and advisor to governments and international organizations, a key asset for all participants in the course. One of the ways in which you put it all together is to make sure that you have the right people who have done this in many different uh, places who can speak very succinctly about what their experience has been. And I know that this training has been particularly successful in that regard. And, uh, you know, uh, from the point of view of someone who has been involved in se uh, several different processes, I found that this training really raised what I thought were really the key issues that I ex have experienced in other places. So I, I, I found it very useful myself, and I learned a lot, even though I've been involved in many processes processes myself. But there are so many different country-specific needs in developing a living constitution. Gender equality is one important aspect. This is where the course and its trainers and organizers excel, finding the right tool for the right situation. For the participants, it's been a week where knowledge has been expanded and new friendships have been built. It was a good opportunity for me to learn more about the process and also to have new friends uh, from different parts of the world dealing with the uh, constitution. So whenever I need uh, any additional information, I can easily contact with them and uh, get uh, more information. With my 30 years experience of working in any of the parliament, in Pakistan parliament, uh, I realized that from day one to day five, I have been learning every day a new thing. Now that they have the tools to implement changes, it's time to return home and use them. They are ready. Are you? International IDEA has also published a handbook on constitution building, a practical guide and useful complement to the course. For more information on the training program and to access other constitution building resources, please visit constitutionnet.org. The training was able to structure and to organize the information in my head, so I feel more uh, comfortable to deal with constitutional process in the Arab state region in my upcoming work in the region. The International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance, International IDEA, is an intergovernmental organization with member states from all over the world. International IDEA's mission is to support sustainable democratic change through providing comparative knowledge and assisting in democratic reform and influencing policies and politics.